Right, so let's look at the principle of consistency. So consistency means right, the designs, it should be consistent. Uh, I think there are two, two meanings. Okay, one of it is uh, the designs should be consistent with the common understandings, knowledge, and habits of the users. Okay, another thing is um, the designs okay, for the same thing, the like same function, okay, should be consistent. Okay, so two things okay, we should um, think of. Think about. Let's see <clears throat> this example. Uh, let's see this redo uh, function. So what we can see uh, from this example is that you know the icons, right? The design are very different, right? and even the color, the shape is different. And also um, this one. Okay, there's no icon. Okay, so these are very, very different. Okay. And also the redo, you can see here, there's a redo typing and there's a redo. So this is it's also different. So when, uh, the, when the users see the, this diff, this uh, different icons, okay. Um, and also different um, text, right? They may be uh, just uh, confused. Okay. And this, okay, this one also is a bad example. So I think, I guess this is a kind of um, return, okay, return button, right? Um, but you can see, uh, the location of the button is right, different, right? It's different. So this violates okay, the consistency, all right? So then people may uh, feel just uh, confused, okay? Um, and also this um, icons, the icons, the design is also different, okay? This one, this one is different. So people may feel confused. They don't know, they may not, not know, okay, um, what is this button? Okay. And for the, some good examples, um, this one is the, you know, the design, good, good examples of consistency. Okay, as we can see the Coca-Cola, Okay, Coca Cola, the I think the brand, okay, the brand the design is is quite consistent. Design, the logo, right? Mm. And also this um, BMW, the this vehicle, okay, the front design. Okay, I think um, BMW never changed the front design. This is very kind of um, brand image of BMW. Okay, it's a kind of consistency in brand. Um, and also, you can see here, it's the signals, right? For the, you know, uh, red, yellow, and green. So we can see, um, yeah, the consistency okay, in terms of the you know, design for the signals, signal lines, right? These are some uh, good examples. And also for the Kakao okay, applications, Kakao, okay. Kakao has uh, quite you know, a series okay, of different applications, like Kakao Talk, okay, the application itself, Kakao uh, Pay, uh, a Kakao Story, So basically, you can see the, <clears throat> the color, right? It's kind of 
but consistent, right? Color, uh, yellow color. So from different, you know, um, applications, but with the same similar series, the cacao series. So they have very similar designs, consistency. This is consistency. Good example. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, for the first one, first thing, right, which is uh, when we design something, right, we need to consider the user's experience and stereotype. Okay. So, so for example, right, uh, when, when we design the web, uh, web page, right, the common, okay, common experience of the users or the common stereotype of the users is that you know, the main menu right, should be at the top or left side of a page, right? And the logo should be you know, at the top left okay, or top center uh, of a page. And also the logo is clickable. Okay? So when uh, the user clicks the logo, then the user can go to the home page. Right? So these are very common okay, sense okay, um, from the user's experience in the stereotype. So that means, okay, when you design your own okay, um, web page, basically you have to follow this um, kind of, you know, kind of uh, conventional uh, design guideline. Okay. So for example, if you design, okay, if you put your logo at the top, at maybe at the bottom right side. Okay, then um, people may know may may uh, just have a hard time to understand what's going on. Okay, <clears throat> Where, why there's a logo at the bottom right side of the page. Okay, so people will try to you know try to look at the up and left side. To find the logo. Okay. So, yeah, please, you know, when you design a web page, okay, just follow the conventional uh, the, the ways. And also, another thing is, you know, um, now, nowadays, okay, it's kind of, you know, if we design a web page, right, we, we should think, of, think about the platforms. Our web page will be, uh, you know, be used. For example, different platforms, right? <clears throat> the desktop, mobile, right? Different, and even the different uh, OS, like the Mac OS, or the Windows, or the iOS, Android, right? So with just the one, you know, can, uh, we need to think about. The compatibility issue. Okay. So that means, okay, um, we should have the same, same design uh, pattern layout okay. for, you know, <clears throat> for the different uh, platforms. Okay. So that means, okay, uh, with you know, different devices, but um, there's some design comp components that should be located at the same place. Okay. For example, you know the title right should be left. Uh, should be like located at the top left or top center right, of the page. Uh, and also, you know, this um, your website it should support okay, different OS, different platforms, different. Uh, even different different devices, different browsers. Okay. So these are the things that, that you have to you know think of think about. Okay, because people use different platforms. All right. And if they, they are you know get used to using the you know kind of web web based okay, web based like from Windows system. Then if it, if they move to the like the 
cell phone based, mobile based. Okay? And if you change the design quite a lot, okay, then uh, they already have some habit okay, to use the web based. But when you use the cell phone based, okay, it's different. So they have to um, memorize okay, the new thing. They have to figure out how to use the mobile okay, device based web page. So that will uh, require extra uh, workload, okay, processing of the brain from the user. So that, that is a bad design. And also um, here are some guidelines for consistency design. So when, when we de design okay, different pages for the software or for the website, please keep consistency. Okay, so you should use the similar the type, color, okay, and also the locations of the title. Okay, it should be consistent. Mm -hmm. And also, if you have kind of a series of different applications, okay, different uh, websites, but with the same series like the Kakao series, okay. So between different series, okay, please keep consistency. The color, size, location, layout, okay, just uh, should be consistent. Um, and also, that like previous, uh, the users are you know already familiar with certain uh, UI type, okay, inter interaction style. Okay, so when you design a new website, okay, a new software, okay, but it should follow you know, the same interaction style, same UI. Okay, then, then the the users okay can easily just uh, get to know how to use your website, how to use your software. Okay. And of course do not use too strange interfaces. Okay. So, so you should use kind of intuitive interfaces so that the users can uh, just easily understand okay and of course do not violate the user's cognitive cognitive process so do not ask the users to to memorize okay to memorize new things or to record okay, some something from their memory okay that is not good okay 